Today we're opening up a $380 Boom Blued Legendary Volta and Exclusive Funko Pop Mystery Box. So this isn't like crazy, crazy expensive, but price point wise, 380 bucks, that's still more expensive mystery box. So I'm intrigued to see what is in this one. It's not crazy heavy. A little bit of more weight in this corner right here, so that is intriguing. So let's see all the details of this box. We'll get right into it. How's that sound? This sold back, I think about a week and a half ago. I just got this delivered today, which today is, I don't know what the day is, the 16th of April, 2024. Three to four pops per box, it says. My cost was 380. It says, the lowest value of the boom box at the time packaging is 390. So it's over guaranteed value, so I do like that about it. And the highest value is over $800. So over double your money back. Can't beat that, right? They only made 16 boom boxes. Of course, they're long sold out. 16 boxes are going to go pretty quickly. Because Boom Loot, one of my favorite companies to buy from because everything's guaranteed value or over guaranteed value. There are multiples on some of the big grail pieces. So you, you're not going in. So if you bought more than one box, you might hit doubles. But it says box conditions are good to mint. Eight out of 10 condition or better. So nothing should be damaged. Nothing with excessive damage on the box. Biggest hits. Looks like it's the Walter White SDCC, the Glow. Uh, that's like, I think, super limited piece. That's probably top hit box. Then you have the Wolverine as Freddy Funko. You have the Freddy Krueger Glow. Then you have the Freddy Funko as, it's like a spaceman looking thing. There's two of those. So that's like the duplicates they're talking about. Then you have the new Dragon for the NFT Grail redeemable piece. Then you have a couple of the Steven Universes. Uh, quite a few Freddy Fungos. There is one that's autographed, which is the Michael Myers Glow Chase. It looks like it's autographed by, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank, Nick. What's his, what, what's that dude's name? I'm drawing a, this happens during videos. Whenever I see something and like my mind goes to it, then it just, it goes, it goes blank. He plays the shape. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? No, it's autographed by him. Glow, Jason Voorhees, the uh, James Rhodes SDCC metallic thing. So there's some good stuff in here. The Golden Frieza, Chase, Ochako, Merman. I think it's, no, is, is it Merman as Freddy Funko? There's some good stuff in there. There's going to be some fantastic hits. It's going to drive me in crazy. Is it Nick? Is that, is that on Nick? Nick Castle? No, that doesn't sound right. I'm probably thinking Frank Castle with the like Punisher. Hey Siri. Who is the original actor who played Michael Myers? Hey Siri. Hmm? Who played Michael Myers? Nick Castle. I was right. Nick Castle. I didn't, it didn't sound right, but it is Nick Castle is the original The Shape of Michael Myers. Here we go. I do actually already have a couple things signed by Nick Castle. I have no idea what is signed and where it's at. It's it's not Pops. I think I maybe have a knife signed by him, like a butcher knife, and maybe an 8x10, I think. I have no idea where that stuff is. I have so much stuff in storage from collectibles and autographs. I think it's double boxed. Yes, double boxed. Extra protection. Let's see all the packaging that's going on. Got that world famous boom box sticker, which everybody loves to see, right? Here we go. Three to four pops per box. There's probably, there's probably four in there. Three to four pops per box. What's, of course, I hope to get out the Walter White Glow, because that's going to be a pretty expensive pop. And that's a massive grail that you do not see very often. Even in mystery box runs, you don't see that pop very often. It's pretty much gone into personal collections and is not coming out anytime soon. The Breaking Bad line has become extremely collectible. How many's in here? Okay, we have one that is in. Is that a hard stack? Yeah, we a pop armor and two. So this is actually a. This is turn this way. So one on the bottom now is in a hard stack. Then two in soft protect. So we have a three pop box. That could be a good sign. Only three pops in here. The hard stack gave the extra weight, to make it feel like a fourth pop. First one. Ooh, the back says $165 too. That's not even, make sure the, is that stack wrapped up like one of those art series from Target? Doesn't feel like it's wrapped. I've been tricked before. I don't think it is, but 
We have Harley Quinn. Oh, nice. That's the black and white Harrison's exclusive Harley Quinn. That's one you do not see very often. It was made in July 2013. That's coming up now on 11-year-old. Like, that's actually DC Grill right there. You do not see the Harley Quinn very often at all. I haven't had this pop in a long time. And somehow, Boom Loot, they always get their hands on collections where the pops are just in, like, fantastic condition. They do it, like, time and time again. I don't know where they get their collections from. Wow, this box. That window is flawless. Wow, for 11-year-old pop, this thing is, like, there's... there's no damage, no scratches, no nothing. That thing is as close to gym condition you're going to get for this pop. Whatever collection that they bought out, the person really took care of their pops for a long, long, long time. That thing is in incredible condition. Day packaging worth $165. Hopefully the value stuck. Like this said, this just shipped out, so value shouldn't have changed very much. Pop number two. Also in a soft stuck. Also in a soft protector. The back says $46. It's kind of heavy. Looks like we've got Katsugi Bakugo. This one used to be worth more in value. It's dropped quite a bit, $46 now. <clears throat> I know the con sticker has always held pretty good value. The shared at one point was worth like what, 80, 90 bucks. It's dropped like half in value over the past like year, two, two-ish two years, but 2020 pop SDCC shared sticker. Katsugo or Katsugi Bakugo. Still a nice pop though, $46 pop. So they're combined there, we're just talking, that's just a shade, that's like, what, $210. This is guaranteed $390. I mean, this pop here is going to be at least like around, like, what, $180, $190-ish? Minimum? Minimum? Hopefully even bigger than that. You ready to see which one it is? I really hope it's that Walter White Glow. I haven't had that pop in a long time. Let's see what it is. Oh, we got the Dragon. Okay, not a bad pop. I actually already have this pop. I have it for sale, actually, in my Buy It Now section for my past, like, two or three whatnot auctions. The one I got straight from Funko, from the drop, the back has this big crease on it. It was actually, like, the shipping box and the sorter had no damage, so it was actually had box damage before they even shipped it out. This one, through the protector, looks to be in very nice condition, though. That's a positive. So it's 280. I think it's actually the price is pretty accurate. I know on mine, I'm asking I think 200 bucks because of the back box damage, but this one looks to be in very very solid condition. So this actually was still was way over value. Let's go ahead and let's see what PPG values have done in the past weekish. Hopefully they haven't dropped much, but let's find out. Use the Hobby DB app. First one, Katsugi Bakugo, coming at 46 dollars. Value on this one did not change. Pop number two, the Harley Quinn, the black and white, one that you don't see very often at all. This one's in like fantastic, like Jimmy, 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 Jimmy mint condition. 165 value, still 165 value, has not changed. And last one, drag on with the NFT redeemable grail piece, a little over 11,000 or 1,100 pieces, coming at 300 bucks, value was 280. It says it's gone up, but it's probably still around 280. We'll just go ahead and use full PPG value. That's what it is right now, it's 300. So grand total of this box, using full PPG value as of today, looking at $511. So even knock off 10 bucks because this one probably hasn't really gone up, like I said it did. So this is still 120 over what I paid. I'll take that. That's like 30% more than what I paid in value. Three fantastic pops, nothing's damaged. It's all in fantastic condition. So actually, if you want to buy these pops, they'll all be for sale on my next What Not Live Funko Pop auction. My next one, what date is it? I auction pops every other Friday night, so my next pop auction will be April 26th, Friday night at 8 p.m. April 26th, 2024, 8 p.m. So I actually will have this one in the auction section with a, with a what, $5 start. I'll have both of these in the Buy It Now section. So actually, if you want to get this pop a little bit cheaper, because I have a little bit of box damage on the back of it, I'll have it, it's actually it's listed now in the Buy It Now section for like 200 bucks, I think it is. Very, very good deal. The front's perfect, just box damage right here on the back of it. This one will also be listed, obviously not for 200 bucks because this box looks pretty minty. It'll be it'll be still under PBG value though, probably like 250, 260. There'll be a link on the screen right now, and down below in the description box, there's also a direct link to whatnot. Click that link, download the app is completely free. Use my link, even save 15 bucks on your first purchase. Only if they use my link on the first download to create your account, save 15 dollars. 
So you, you can possibly get a pop for free on your first purchase. Or you actually can buy from anybody on the app, not just me, and get 15 bucks off. So take advantage of that. And also, if you're looking for any kind of pop protectors, there'll be a direct link down below at 7 Check them out. They have pop protectors that fit every fungal pop in the world. I'll see you next time. <laughs>